Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Mary again with Nardone Brothers Pizza. And today I am here to talk to you about another one of our great products, and that product is our French bread. Now our French bread comes in an eight inch long slice that looks great on a plate, and the kids really feel like they're getting a great slice of pizza. Now it comes in garlic cheese, regular cheese, pepperoni, turkey pep, but today we're actually gonna talk about some other things that you can do with this product. Now I know how everyone wants to be able to use a product more than once because it takes up room in your freezer and that's exactly what we're gonna go over today, the different varieties and the different recipes that you can use with our product. So first product that I'm going to do today is called a maletta. Now our, our product is not going to be the original uh, because in the original you have the garlic sauce and the cheese that's on top of the malettas, but we're going to use our garlic cheese bread. So our garlic sauce and our cheese will obviously be on the bottom. So I'm going to take that. And what is a maletta? So first of all, you're going to take some refined beans and you're going to use about a quarter of a cup. Now just remember that when you're using refried beans and you do a quarter of a cup, that actually provides you with two ounces of legume. So everybody's looking for a way to get those beans onto your menu and this is a perfect way of getting that taken care of. Now on top of that, we are going to be putting some chunky salsa. Add that right on top. Now, I am going to tell you guys that one of my favorite shows is Top Chef. And so, uh, everything, you know, how they go through and you're dicing and slicing and you have to make sure that it's all precision. Well, I'm spared to do that. So, all of my products are already done for me because I am not quite as precise as that. So, here again, you see the malettas and we've got the uh, refried beans and the chunky salsa. Then what we're going to add on top is some jalapenos. Now you can add what you like, depending on what your students like. Um, I'm just adding four slices right on the top. And you add a little bit of cheddar cheese, drizzles over the top, so just like that. And then we top it off with a little bit of cilantro. Now I am going to bake all of these at the same time, so we'll see what they all are like at the end. But that is our beautiful maletta. Okay. Next we're going to be doing a Philly cheesesteak. Okay. So we're going to take our regular cheese and we are going to take some sliced beef. Now I know you all use various sliced beef. Um, so it doesn't matter who you're getting it from, um, but it's just another way to use that product as well as our pizzas. So you do some sliced beef on the top. And then we're going to take some beautiful peppers and add that on there. Along with some onions. And we're going to add some of those on there. Oops, got pepper and then in regards to the top you can add any cheese you want so let's say you're using a white cheese um, sauce that would work great to layer on the top or you could do a little bit of a cheddar cheese sauce today I'm just going to be using our shredded cheddar so we're gonna do that and there you have a beautiful Philly cheesesteak pizza. If you want to look for something different for your pepperoni and you just want to spice it up a little bit, one thing that we found to work really well is our pepperoni with just some jalapenos on the top. That's it. Nothing else. Very simple, very basic. But if your kids love that spice and that kick, this is a great thing to have. The other one we're gonna do is we're going to do a taco bowl. Now, I know many of you have heard us talk about doing a um, soft shell taco and a walking taco with our rancheros, 
But today I'm gonna do a taco in our French bread and it's going to be a taco boat. So we will take our regular cheese and then you have some taco meat. Again, I know a lot of you are getting taco meat from commodities or you're buying it commercially or you're even making it yourself. And that's great because whatever you use and whatever seasoning your kids like, it works perfectly for them. Okay, so here's that. Then we're gonna add some black olives. Now that's a personal preference. You can add and not add whatever you want, but I love black olives on mine. And some tomatoes, of course. And then once we're done with that, we add a little bit of cheddar cheese on the top. And when we're done baking it in the oven, that's when I'm gonna to top it with some lettuce. So here you have a beautiful taco boat that is, you know your kids love pizza and they love tacos, so why not make them together? Finally, we're going to be doing a buffalo chicken French bread. And for that, I'm gonna use our garlic French bread because that garlic and buffalo sauce really adds to that awesome kick. So you take that, and again, use any of your diced chicken that you get. You can get from commodities, um, you can use fajita chicken if you want, whatever you would like. And you can add um, a little bit of celery on there if you want, but you don't have to. Uh, it's just something that you know you generally get with chicken wing. I'm not going to add mine today. And then you can use any buffalo sauce that you want. I'm not gonna promote one item or another, so you use what works for you and your students. And you just pour it right on the top. And then you have a beautiful buffalo chicken, which again, depending on how spicy your kids like it, you can put as much or as little on there as you want. Now, I'm gonna bake all of these in my oven at 350. And of course, when you're in your school setting and you're using your convection oven, you're gonna to wanna to put them on 325. And for 14 to 16 minutes. And then as soon as they're done, we will come back and show you how they all turned out. And now that the recipes are done, let's take them out of the oven and see how they turned out. Ooh, I can smell that buffalo. So we have our moletas and we have our taco, which I am going to add some lettuce on the top. Look how that one turned out. We have our buffalo chicken and our Philly cheesesteak with peppers. And of course, our pepperoni with our jalapenos. And I hope you find that these recipes will have been beneficial to you and provide you some great extensions to your menu this fall. Thank you and have a great day.